Welcome to another great episode of American Rifleman Television. Now, Smith & Wesson introduced its military and police revolver more than a century ago, but in 2006, they dusted that name off and they applied it to a new line of pistols. And now it encompasses a lot of guns and accessories in the Smith & Wesson line. For this week's Rifleman Review, we head to the range with a heritage manufacturing Rough Rider Rancher. Now this is a 22 long rifle revolving carbine. For I have this old gun, we'll look at the finest box-fed light machine gun of World War II, and that was the British Bren. But right now, let's look at the history and modern production of the Smith & Wesson Military and Police. So Smith & Wesson's semi-automatic pistols did not start with the military and police line in 2006. Uh, Smith & Wesson was ahead of just about every American maker when it came to double-action semi-automatic handguns. And they were doing pretty well with these pistols amongst American law enforcement. And then came the Glock. Once the Glock pistol and the other polymer pistols started coming in and really dominating the police market, Smith & Wesson lost ground. They had literally hundreds of models that law enforcement agencies didn't want to buy anymore. So Smith & Wesson had to regroup. Now, I have some personal experience with these first-generation M&P pistols because when I was young, my dad was one of the first customers. And I remember distinctly him going out and buying one of those first guns. And we went into the backyard and we'd shoot it. Even though the Heritage Manufacturing Rough Rider Rancher is a new gun, the concept of the revolver carbine is not a new one. As a matter of fact, it goes all the way back to Patterson and Colt. But there was never a single action army made by Colt that's exactly like what we're looking at here. The Bren Light machine gun fired 500 rounds a minute nominally, depending on the ammunition. And the gas settings, you're looking at 450 to 500 rounds per minute, but it's fed by a 30-round detachable box magazine. This, this magazine feed system is a mixed blessing because if you are engaging in sustained fire, that 30 rounds goes pretty quick. Uh, the British trained to have an assistant gunner simply as soon as the gun was out, he would hit the latch, remove the magazine, put a new magazine in, tapped the gunner on the shoulder, and that way he knew he was good to go again. But one of the problems with sustained fire is barrel heat. And the Bren had an excellent, simple, but ingenious quick change barrel system. Uh, you simply hit the latch, turn it, pop the barrel forward, put the new barrel in, because gunners always carried spare barrels, put it in, hit that latch again, and you're good to go. 